Hi everyone, my name's Cheryl Hurst. I'm Independent Stepping Up Demonstrator here in Sydney, Australia. How are you today? Today's Monday, the 26th of February, and we have only three days left of celebration. Can you believe it's gone so quickly? Have you got, put an order in if you haven't got any of these great things? We have got beautiful stamp sets. We've got beautiful paper. I'm going to use one of the papers today. So just have a look. This is the paper we're going to use, Sunny Days. I'm going to use that paper. And this is some great things. And if you're going to shop and you want to be a hobby demonstrator, you don't have to be anything else. And you can stay till July. And, you know, come and join my team. You know, if you don't buy anything else. So for $169, you get $285 worth of product from the mini catalog and the annual catalog. And also you've got an option of the this great thing. This is free, this glass mat, silicone mat and cleaning cloth. And it's worth $106. And you get that for free. Or, if you don't want that, you can get more product for 50, another $51. So it's up to you. So, great bargain. Great, great bargain. And we've only got three days left. So make sure you um, do some shopping. And also, there's some more product as well. You'll see on my online store. <coughs> Excuse me, beautiful paper, card card kits um, these ones are 180 so normally you have to spend not $90 before shipping and um, you can each $90 you can get a free item so it will come up saying you got six free items so you could get because these will class as two for the 180 so you can use two and then you got four more and these are great the um, Stamp and write markers, and they're all of all, all new, the 23 core colors, the new colors that came in. So there's all sorts of things um, you can do. And also what I'm going to be using today, <coughs> excuse me, I always cough when I'm on here. I must get nervous or something. Um, online exclusive starts the 5th of March. And I tell you, they are wonderful products beautiful papers beautiful stamp sets and bundles and um sweets and things it's just so many bright beautiful colors you've probably seen some and they're just absolutely gorgeous and that starts the 5th of march in my store but today i'm going to use one that will come in on the 5th of march and it's pets and more i'm going to use this lovely one and also this one is the happy little things i'm going to use that as well and and i'm going to have the little things okay so they're the stamps and the um photopolymer so they're the clear ones okay so they're the clear stamps for both and we're going to do a fun fold and it is this is how we're going to make it okay so it's a um, diamond z fold and I'll, i've got all the measurements here in inches and in centimeters and um, I will show you how to make it now and I'll have all the information in the description below that you need to do know or you, and all the products and things are in my blog okay so this is where we're going to do it so I've got the paper cut and also I'm using there's one more in the center so that's why so I'm using two three and four or one, two, and three, whatever way you want to count it. So it's the largest, second largest, and the third largest one. And I've cut those out. So I've got, I'm going to have those. And I've got the white one. Okay, so they, and they are from the stylish um, shapes, dies. I've lost them somewhere on my table. So, but that's what I'll be what i've using as well for my diamond shapes 
just makes it easy. I have got measurements, but this, I just thought, you know what? This is perfect and it just makes it so much easier. Okay, get your glue of choice. And while we're just doing this, we'll just get, um, put the glue on. Isn't that beautiful? Look at this cherries on here. It's a shame that I have to cover it up. Okay, so we're just putting a little bit of glue and we're just going to put that on in the center. This is good with the, the green glue or the multi-purpose glue. You can slide it to how you want it. And I'm going to put that in the center as well. Okay, so we've done that much so far. So those two things are done. And we can do our stamping. And I'm going to use Versamark. And I've got a dog paw, I've got my sentiment, and I've got my dog. And I've got my heat tool. Okay, you need a heat tool to do the embossing that I'm doing. So on this one, I'm going to tilt them so that they're in diamonds. So, so I get them the right way. Okay, so, oops, I have it that way, so they're facing the right way. Okay. Um, okay, my verse mark. And I'm just going to put three dog paws on. One, two, three, three of those. And I'm just going to do that quickly just do one at a time and I'm just going to bring that over just get my ink and this is great the additional tools oh you know what I didn't do I didn't put and see now it's going to stick to it because I didn't put you know what I'm going to wipe it all off I'm going to wipe it all off I'm going to stamp it again same paper. Let's see if I can do it the right way. You know what? I'm going to just take that off and I'm just going to get another piece of paper because it will ruin it. So you need the embossing body. So I'm going to get the embossing body there and the Versa mark. And I'm going to get the little the little things so I'm going to get that and I'm going to place that there oh, across there and now I'm going to just put that on see so much better when you use the embossing body okay so I'm just going to cover that up and I'm just going to I don't know where my tools have gone to I've got my fingers so I'm going to just do this shiny you don't want to do it too much when it's shiny like that you know it is done and I'm just going to quickly because I've cut a two inch piece off I'm just going to cut let cut that small one because I mucked it up by not putting the embossing body on Sorry, the desk rocks when I do all this. This is why I normally cut it beforehand. But hey, when you make a mistake, you make a mistake, don't you? I never said I was perfect. Far from it. So, okay. Let's put that back up there. So I don't lose it. And I'm going to put it so it's that way. Okay, so I'm just going to glue that back on. Oops. 
you do it that way. Got it right. Now we're going to use the embossing buddy. You see that I'm working backwards. <laughs> okay, so now we turn it into a diamond. We're going to get the feet. I'll put one in that corner, one down here, and one going off the page. So it's like it's walking. Okay, put the lid back on. And now we'll put the, yeah, see how much better it is? So, lesson learnt, use your embossing buddy. All right, and find your tweezers so you don't burn your fingers off. Okay, so I'm gonna put that down here. And Things will blow away, so I'll just put my. It should be fairly hot. It's been in there. Don't touch it for a couple of seconds because it's could smudge because it's hot and it's all melted because that's what you're doing you're melting the powder and now the pup now did I blow away the diamond I probably did there's the diamond oh here it is okay same thing embossing buddy And I'm not going to do any colouring. It's just going to be a black and white dog. I'll put those to the side. And we want it on the diamond. So make sure we fit him in. And we're just going to place him there. It's a cute little pup. Let me know, are you a dog person or a cat person? Because you know I'm a dog person. <laughs> my lovely Goldies. Actually, it's my wedding anniversary today. And I've been married 41 years today. And I'm doing what I love. I'm crafting. Okay, so I've got that nicely done. Oh, maybe just a little bit there. There. So that looks great. I've got it all over me. Let's do a sweep. Okay. Same thing. I'm going to put. I'm going to put it down. And hold my scissors onto it. It would be a lot better, and I could show you a lot better if I had my tweezers. But it's buried under this. Craft. So, it doesn't take very long because it's quite hot. I see if I can lift it up and show you. Get half of it done and then I'll turn it. And then you can watch the magic. I love it watching it. It never gets tired of watching that. And once it's all nice and shiny, as I said, it's ready. So there you are. We've got the dog done. So we've got all that done now. So we won't try and lose them. So they're all ready to go. I'll put them there. Now we need card base. And I'm going to use pool party. So let's get some pool party out. And... I'm just gonna put the I'm just gonna put this away because I know I'm gonna knock this over. So we'll get that in there. And isn't this good? It just oops, oops. So good if you keep it in the jar. I 
always looking at something else and doing it. Okay, that wasn't very bright of me. I've got a, a cute little vacuum that I got from Amazon. I forget what it's called, but it, it just picks up all the junk. Just a little vacuum. Yeah. Just sweeps it all up. It's a great little toy. It's not a toy, it's work. We don't play with toys, do we? Okay, so this is just your normal card base. So, um, just cutting a normal card base. And we're going to cut it, it's dirty, um, 10 and a half, oh, so, cut, so you're going to um, do your first fold is um, <coughs> half your card base, so just do that, and then half again. I normally do make sure you score it really well and I normally take it to the back key and just make sure it's along there right along and then you just score it in half that's the easiest way to do it okay so this is what we've got okay that's all we need at this stage oh and sorry you do need a scrap of pool party my scraps. I've been using all my scraps up. Okay, and we need to cut the measurement. Okay, we need to cut. It's three and three inches by one and three quarters or 7.6 by 4.5 and now we're going to score it at three quarters of an inch one and a half inches two and a quarter or two centimeters 3.8 centimeters or 5.7 centimeters that's what I'm saying don't worry I'm going to have it all down for you so go here And this is your pop-up piece and we want okay and what we want to do we're going to fold all those but before we get any see how I've got a gap that is perfect if you don't have a gap there just trim a little bit off your, your cutting might be just a little bit out but just trim that so you've got a little space there okay all right so we just need that and put that over so those scraps can go back and I can put that piece in there okay now we're going to use um, the designer series paper I'm going to use this and I'm going to cut it as I go along so so it will match Okay, because what we're going to do, and I'll put it here, we're going to put a piece there, a piece there, and a piece there. Okay, so I need it at, what's the sizes? Oh, I think I threw it out. I did. I did. Okay, four and 
for an four centimeters point eight. Four point eight. Oh wait, I should check this. I want this at um everything's going to be at fourteen point four. I'll cut that piece off. And now I want four point eight. That's the first piece. I'll put that there. 4.8 which is 4 and 1 8 by 5 and 3 8 and the two small pieces are 1 and 3 quarters by 1 and 3 oh no that's the squares sorry okay so I'll have that down then and then I want one 10 centimeters got that done. I'll have it all down because I've got it written all over the place. So I've got that and that is all our cutting. I hope if I've done it right. Okay so we're going back to our card and we have to put our designer series paper down first before we put the mechanism in. So we get our glue. And we'll put that there. And you can see that this will match up with the flowers. So I've got that. So that's it. If you've got anything with a pattern, you would want to try and get it to match up as reasonably as you can. And I'm just pulling it aside with a bit of a gap. Okay. And we've got this piece here, the same thing, all going. Okay, so we've got that all going nicely. Now, we want to put this roughly in the middle. Okay, so this is going to go in the middle. So... Let's try and get that. Where do I want that? Is that in the middle? Oh. Okay, so it's roughly there, so I'm going to put that there. And you want to put glue on both sides but not t touching and we're going to glue it down and the fold crease goes right in the crease okay so on the score i should say the score and we're going to glue those down on either side of the, the glue so roughly that's in the middle and then we've got our little mechanism oops it's come apart there played with it too soon so okay we're getting back oops getting straight okay we'll let it sit okay so let it sit there and now it's going all right so what we're going to do, we're going to bring in our diamonds and what we want, what we're going to do is put it right at the top and right there and you're going to have it matching, okay, halfway and half, okay, so they want to be matching like that, okay, I'll have to put it down and we're going to do the same by putting that there and that there. We've got a little gap, but that's fine. Okay. So we need to fold that in half still. And we're going to get our dimensionals, probably about three dimensionals. And we want it the right way. And so I'll just bring it. So we're going to have it 
and that's how we're going to put dimensionals on here and we don't want it over this side as well so we're just going to put it just in that little corner and we're going to come back and put it right on the edge and we're going to make sure they the half of the camera go there and there okay so we've got that done and you should see you have nothing showing and we're going to do the same here so we're going to put three just like we did to make sure we've got it corner to corner beautiful that's what we're going to do okay excellent now we're going to put we're going to put this one but we're going to just do it on the tip of that we're just going to put some glue on that one because we're going to slide because that will slide and then we'll see the pup like that okay so we want just the little in the center and just glue will be good for this one because then you can wiggle it to make sure you've got it straight okay so we'll do that so we're only going to put a little little dot okay that's more than enough probably too much and i'm going to put that in and we're just going to straighten him up a bit And we're just going to let that set. And while we're doing that, I'm going to use some celebration. These are the opaque faceted gems, and they're available for celebration for the next three days. And we're just going to pop some some of these beautiful gems on. I'm using the pearl pink. Because um, there's petal pink here, and because I'm going down here, I think I'll use. See, now he's stuck, so that's good. So I'm just going to use the pool party and put one there. So I've got four, so I'll have to use another one. Can't, can't have even numbers, so I might put one up there. So we've got the card. You're going to say, Where can we write? We're going to report. When you want, you're going to get your card base and put it on the back there. You can decorate it, do whatever you want, and you can have that on the back. Okay, and I think we should have a bit of a ribbon. So let's get some ribbon. Um, I think we'll get some check. These are white. cheat and use my bow thing I got that at the craft online store and um, here in Australia and it just makes it easier for me especially when I'm on camera so you don't see me fingers and thumbs and there it's done it's all done and just get a glue dot and just put it there actually i'm going to make another bow because i didn't put one on my example which i wanted to do okay it's very easy to do on these i love it and then you just cut what you want blue dot Blue dots are uh, fantastic. You need that. That is a, a must in your craft store, in your craft supplies. I'm going to put that there. So there you are. There's my card. And it's a diamond Z fold. I hope you like it. So you're going to put one like that. And one like that so you can see it. Please leave me a comment if you like. And 
and say if you like it or not and if you like me doing the fun folds for you they're very simple they look attractive they're, they're great and um, and these products will be um, available not the paper that's available now if you spend $90 in my store you can redeem you can get that for free but the stamp sets that I should had these ones little I mean sorry happy little things and that is available the 5th of March and pets and more are available the 5th of March and they're online exclusives so they aren't in any catalogs they're only on the online store and if you go to what's new um, on the 5th of March 5th of March you'll find them all go to online exclusives and you'll find them there with the other <clears throat> excuse me with the other online exclusives items and you won't you should see it it's just amazing I think I've got everything I, I normally don't buy everything but I've learned my budget because <laughs> I have just I loved everything and that's really um, rare that you like everything that comes out but I tell you it is really amazing these products that are coming you will love them so that's enough for me I'm going to go and, and have some an anniversary dinner and uh, oh, well, later tonight and um, I hope you have a wonderful day and uh, I'll see you on Wednesday so see you later bye and thanks for the thumbs up and subscribing I'm at 99 I want to get to 100